well, I want to thank you for talking to us because I know you don't talk about this very often, and so that has to be really tough, especially on camera in front of a bunch of people. But um, thank you very much for being so open about it. A lot of people aren't this open, and I know that will be a healing voice for lots of people. Okay. Do you have anything that you would like to, if you could give, if you could talk to someone who was sitting here today that was going through this, what would you say to them? Um, the very best thing that Shawn Michael and I did, we've always been very faithful people, but immediately when it happened, we joined a small group um, with our church. And so I don't know... Personally, I don't know how I would have gotten through it without my faith. And so if, if it's not faith, then getting into a, a supportive group that you can not just talk about miscarriage with, but just talk about life in general with. And um, that set a really good, strong example of, of marriage and, you know, the good and the bad part of things. So that was the what got us going down the right path because I think that it, it's very easy to play the why me and the blame game and you know go down the whole hundreds and thousands of list of what did I do to make this happen and every now and then I'd start to have tendencies like that I would say well I had a, a sweet tea two days before I miscarried like, <laughs> was that too much caffeine or I had a bite of sushi was, you know, did that, ha did that happen to do something? And so, you know, it at that point, you just need to accept it for what it is and move on and not try to blame yourself. And um, I think a lot of people have a tendency to do that. I think it's just kind of women's nature to do that. But you just, you know, I think you just got to set yourself on a path of knowing that the future holds amazing things, whether it, you know, is another pregnancy or if it's adoption or if it's a great solid foundation for your marriage because you've gone through something like this. I mean, there's so many things that are positive that can come out of something so negative. And I was thankful that I had John Michael to help point those things out to me. So try to find the silver lining. I'm thankful you had him too. <laughs>